Well, howdy, Redeemer. Um, just a couple of things for you this week. I hope you're off to a, a good start uh, this week. I was super encouraged by uh, our worship time Sunday and thankful for William and his preaching to us for the last Sunday, uh, last couple of Sundays. On the announcement front, with regard to worship, uh, we'll have in this email a link to register for worship, and it's really helpful to us if you register as soon as you can uh, just for preparation sake. Uh, we, especially communion and those sorts of things. We try to get out ahead of that a little bit, so it would really help us if you registered. Uh, the second thing I just wanted to, to talk with you for a minute about is uh, many of you know that we have a group of uh, Brazos Valley uh, pastors group, evangelical pastors in our area, and we've been meeting for years uh, quarterly, and then during COVID, we actually had prayer time together on Monday afternoons at 3 th through Zoom. And then just in, in light of uh, the recent events with George Floyd, we actually had a conversation yesterday uh, hosted by Grace, and there were probably about 30 uh, pastors there, pa uh, black pastors, Hispanic uh, pastors there. And, and I, I just want to mention that to you because I think right now is a good time uh, for us to just kind of listen and learn. And so kind of asking good questions and what are the right questions that we need to be asking concerning all of the, the recent events. And it was a great privilege for me to be able to listen to our black pastors in the area kind of say, this is what it, this is what it looks like. This is what it, it feels like. And just for me to absorb that. So I want to provide you with some resources that can put you, uh, can continue that on that path of, of learning, a posture of humility and learning. Uh, one of those resources is the uh, PCA's position paper and uh, reconciliation uh, study committee report that came out in 2016. We're going to link that. It's a long one, uh, but it's, it's, I think it's very thorough, and I was very proud to be a part of that that day. Um, also, a link to a By Faith article most recently put out by our committee uh, chairman and uh, agencies uh, of the PCA. And then, um, actually, uh, one of my good friends, uh, Albert McGowan, is uh, the pastor of Redeemer Church in Jackson, PCA Church. And Albert and I both grew up in Mississippi. Uh, we are about the same age. We did RUF together for about 10 years. Uh, and um, but Albert's black and I'm white. And so we had, we had pretty different childhoods in Mississippi. And so I've always highly valued Albert's uh, preaching. So we're going to provide a couple of links for sermons from the last couple of Sundays uh, for Redeemer, and then also a link to the um, uh, Race and Culture Conference uh, from Redeemer San Antonio back in February. So I'll just invite you to, to, to kind of lean into that uh, and, and pray for us. How, how can we be loving our neighbor well, serving not just one another well, but serving those who are marginalized, disenfranchised? Well, I think Jesus calls us into that. So I'd invite you in that, into that with me. All right, well, that's, uh, that's all we got for today. Again, please remember to register uh, for worship. Super helpful to us. Thanks. Y'all have a good week.